All right, hello everybody. I am demonstrating something special today, which is a homemade symbol piezo reverb. You can see this little piezo contact mics that I put on my symbol and they are running to a DIY piezo preamp which I will explain in a second and um, I provide schematics for this so you can build your own. So I have this SM57 microphone but the reverb is coming completely through the piezos and the preamp that is attached to this beautiful symbol and we have a second symbol which I will show you in a, in a little while so I will explain this this preamp a little for you so the unbalanced outputs it has unbalanced outputs it has power power switch and LED and it runs off a 9 volts battery regular type you have to be careful with this cable you will hear in a second if it if I manage to hit it and um, it has separate gain for channels B and A and it has a high pass filter it's on the unit is on its head right now because that's where my outputs go and I will uh, the, the gain goes from about six decibels I will just turn it so you can see so the the little the, the least gain is this amount it's really nothing and the highest gain is this when I it's pretty intense pretty high gain you can balance the stereo image by adjusting and don't tap the cymbal because it's really loud even slight tap result in a lot of overdrive so I will put the volume back to a bit lower. Okay, I will um, now play this C flute through these. You can see the connectors actually, which I custom made so I can detach and attach the piezos. I, I, I thought that would be useful. So I will play the flute now and the SM57 microphone will be off during that time so I will hear just the reverb coming from the piezos and actually the, a lot of signals picked up from the, by the piezos also so I was really uh, really surprised in the beginning how much of a real signal is coming through these okay
this is the this is for the regular one channel or one symbol operation now in order to i can connect the second pso which is you, you should hear it on the right channel and remember that the touching the pso's or the symbols is really loud so i will just turn down the reverb in order to just you still hear signal because the minimum amplification is something like 10 can you can you see what i'm doing actually i'm connecting connected the this piezo to one symbol which is a masterworks jazz master 22 inches this is a 20 inches constantinople and the zildjian constantinople so one of the big differences now is when we turn it on again that both symbols will vibrate a bit more freely because actually the piezo really add damping to these symbols and the the symbol action is not the same anymore and also you see the the cable is just on the edge so i will rotate the symbol so that it's uh, that it's not on the edge anymore and you will hear on the left side a different symbol than on the right side Okay, turn the symbol a little so that the cable is not disturbing anymore or just move this thing maybe yes like this it's really delicate actually really delicate stuff okay let me play the flute again after turning up <laughs> so many cables so lit so few free hands let me turn it up And left side. Now it's more difficult to balance them because they are different symbols. Whoa. Oh, I didn't. Did I demonstrate the high pass filter? It works like this this bass. Bass. You hear the high frequencies, but the bass is gone. But I want you to, to feel the, the full tone. Usually when, when I record these things, I just put a nice high pass filter on them so they, they don't smear so, the bass so much. I think the left symbol is actually a bit too loud. Now, 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 now. Now it's better. Better balanced. Better balanced. Better balanced. Am I turning the right thing? Better balanced. Yes, okay. They respond to different tones, that's the beauty of it. It's a really natural reverb. So depending on which note I play on the flute, they will, they will resonate more in one symbol than the other. It's really dynamic. Okay, let me play again for the stereo symbol reverb meaning two, ch two, two symbol reverb.
Okay, I think you got a nice a nice impression of these things. And of course it depends very much on where, how far away you play this flute. So now I have this grand piano standing over here and I will play some some few notes so you can hear the effect of the grand piano on these these symbols and that will conclude my demonstration if you are interested in the schematics the you you will find them in the link below or on my blog at www.breaks.berlin and enjoy the piano Before I forget, if you would like to check out the, the, this um, reverb technique in use in actual music, I have an experimental video and music piece which is called Dim Light Bright Mood and I recommend you to see it because this reverb is reused extensively there. It's on my YouTube channel. <laughs> 